Well, hiya, pal. <laughs> what is up there, guys? Ed Lewis back at it again for another video. And, of course, this time we're going to be talking about some Kingdom Hearts. As we know, yesterday was that lit, that trailer that came out, which is simply amazing for Kingdom Hearts uh, 2.8. And basically what we're going to be discussing right now is, of course, the release date and how it's honestly very scary stuff right now. And it's something that has upset a lot of the people within the Kingdom Hearts community, including myself. So I'm going to be talking about that right here, right now. So come on, pal. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, here we go. So first off, yes, of course. Uh, when E3 came around, we had a Kingdom Hearts 2.8 trailer. And at the end of the trailer, it specifically said December Worldwide Release, which got everybody excited because this would have been the first time ever that a Kingdom Hearts game was simultaneously released but because normally it comes out in Japan and then later everywhere else but with this new trailer it says it's coming out January 12th for the people in Japan and then January 24th for everybody else and that's scary stuff right here for a lot of reasons okay so first off let me let me tell you this why did the game get pushed back well Tetsuya Nomura uh, one of the game producers of Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, the head man himself. Basically, he did tweet this out saying that the work on Final Fantasy uh, 17, or I don't know which one it is, the new Final Fantasy game, did was one of the reasons why the game got pushed back. And the game is going to be PS4 Pro uh, activated or whatever. So that means that your game is going to be visually stunning. So, so that kind of upsets me that really the stinking Final Fantasy game really... Uh, is one of the reasons why Kingdom Hearts 2.8 got pushed back. It makes sense so that so that way they don't have like two games within the same month or whatever. But like Final Fantasy did that to Kingdom Hearts. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed by that. But it's only for a month. But but that's a big thing right over there. But first, let me say how. Um, Okay, the, the gap difference between Japan and the U.S. is very concerning because if you're one of those people that don't like spoilers, that want to enjoy the game for your full-fledged experience, all that stuff, it's going to be tricky. You're basically going to have to stay away from the internet for the next 12 days because, you know, of course those people are going to be uploading gameplay, Unchained, back cover, all that stuff. Uh, on YouTube and everything. I personally plan on watching it because I am tired of waiting. I want to see it. I'm one of those very few people in the world that actually enjoy spoilers. Like whenever a new movie comes out like Civil War, I'm always on Instagram like, oh, oh, look at this awesome scene. I like spoilers. I don't know. I'm just that type of guy. But yeah, so that's that's that kind of sucks unless you import it. But that is one thing that's going to be kind of stressful for some people. Now, the next thing, now this is the big one. This is the kicker that really, really, really has me worried, okay? Because, okay, so since Kingdom Hearts 2.8 was supposed to come out December 2016, and now it got pushed back to 2017, what does that mean for Kingdom Hearts 3? Because as we know, Tetsuya Nomura, the head honcho, whatever, with Kingdom Hearts, says that he wants a Kingdom Hearts game every year. And he's been following that formula. But now that... Uh, cause you see what I mean? 2.8 landed in 2017 and everybody and their mother was convinced that Kingdom Hearts 3 was going to come out for 2017 cause you know, the concert, uh, the, the, the orchestra thing that's going on, the figure, all these things were leading towards 2017 but now it looks like 2018 might be the case this time around and some people are going to say no yeah you know they could still they could still put it at late 2017 i don't i don't think so honestly the way square enix does things i i don't have hope for 2017 i was really excited but i feel as though now just the way square enix works we're not going to get it to 2018 now the games keep getting delayed for some reason uh this year it's not looking too good uh again i am a little annoyed that it's i know it's only a month but that month difference between the orig original release date and the release date now is the big difference because it lands in 2017. I'm hoping, I'm praying, I want to be positive and say that it's going to come out in 2017, but I don't, I don't know, I can't. I, Square Enix messes around too much and I'm not feeling it this time. It could be 2018. Maybe not, maybe it could, I have no idea, but I'm seriously concerned because this ruins Tetsuya Nomura's plan. Kingdom Hearts game each year, but you move that game to 2017, so... Uh, I'm just, I'm frustrated right now. If it really ends up being 2018, I'll be very upset because I've been waiting for this game for like over, what is it like? Oh yeah, over 10 years. Oh my God, like what, 12? No, 15? Yeah, 15 years. I've been waiting for this game, man. I mean, seriously, come on. It's time to wrap it up. I know you want to be perfectionist and everything, but come on, man. I really want that game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man, but that's, um, 
that's basically all the stuff that's going around with the Kingdom Hearts delayed and what people are panicking about and all that stuff. So again, you know, just to recap, it was originally supposed to be released in December worldwide, got pushed back into January because of Final 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 Fantasy 17, uh, PS because of the PS4 Pro. And uh, there could be another reason behind it, too. We just don't know. Maybe we'll find out later. Again, this could affect the release date of Kingdom Hearts 3 by by 2.8 coming out 2017 uh, instead of 2016. But I don't know, guys. I mean, it's scary stuff. I just I just really want that Kingdom Hearts 3. But I want to know what you guys think about this. Uh, are you upset about the change in the release date? Again, it's only a month, and that month isn't that big of a deal. It, but the year thing is a huge deal. So what do you guys think? Do you think Kingdom Hearts 3 could... Could potentially come out 2017, or do you think we're going to get screwed over and uh, it's going to be on 2018? I want to know what you guys think. Leave all your comments below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, as that really helps me out. And until next time, guys, I'm going to say, bye, pal. I'll see you all real soon. <laughs>